Hey there, thank you for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today we have one of the most exciting announcements ever for this channel, because we have officially been accepted as a recognized LEGO fan media group in the LEGO Ambassador Network. Now, in case you aren't aware, the LEGO Ambassador Network, or LAN for short, is a place for creators like myself and other LEGO communities to come together, to get some review sets early, to really give our feedback to LEGO designers and LEGO management, and all in all form a full-on community that is officially recognized by LEGO. So getting access to early news and press releases, all sorts of stuff, being part of the LAN really just opens the doors for you in terms of being a part of LEGO Media, and I am so, so excited to say that the dream for this channel, which was the eventual goal, was always to be accepted into LAN, has finally come true. And I am incredibly excited to share with you all the great news that comes along with it. Now, personally for myself, I am still kind of learning the ropes. I need to learn a lot more about what it means to be in land before I can actually start putting out videos and what this means and whatnot. But from my introductory calls so far, it seems that this is a fantastic place to give feedback. So if you have some feedback about LEGO products or LEGO management or the way that LEGO has been doing stuff, definitely do let me know. I think it's a really great channel to be able to make that feedback known. And what's really great is that being part of LAN also gives me access to early review copies of certain sets. So I'm probably going to aim towards the Ninjago and Monkey Kid stuff because it seems that that's very popular in terms of viewers of this channel. But if there's another theme coming out that you want to see me cover based on early reviews, let me know and I will try to work with LAN to make that happen. Now, for the Bionicle fans in the audience, I have already communicated to Land that one of my priorities is, above anything else, if LEGO is ever doing anything related to construction, whether it be with the Marvel Spider-Man figures, which I can actually show you, which recently came out, or even something completely new, if LEGO is making any sort of buildable action figure, I want them to let me know and send me review copies as early as possible so I can actually bring reviews to all of you, like the figures right here that were kind of a surprise to come out earlier this year. Now, they do have that in mind, so if LEGO is doing something in the buildable action figure space, they will contact us and we'll try to get some review copies. So that is super, super exciting. But beyond that, we actually have access to early press releases. We can be right on the dot when news is released and bring you the latest news and reveals from LEGO. So much exciting stuff to cover here. And again, this is honestly just a dream come true. I never really expected or thought I would ever be able to get into LAN. I, it was always kind of a dream or something far in the future but I can't believe it's happened now. Our channel has actually started just two years ago. We started in September of 2020. So it's been an amazing growth period over this time to start there and finally get ourselves into LAN. And there's so much more that we can do because being part of LAN means that our community now has access to giving direct feedback to designers, to conducting interviews, to attending roundtables of LEGO folks where they talk about the general direction for certain themes or part development or set development. There is just so much that we now have access to. I will be spending a lot of time going through what exactly I do have access to now, what I might have access to in the future, and what sorts of content we can bring you. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments, is there any questions that you would love to ask a LEGO designer? Maybe you want to know why for a particular theme, LEGO designers did one thing or another. Like for example, why did the Ninjago crystallized sets have a crystal motif, which wasn't super explained that well in the show. You may be wondering why LEGO has chosen to potentially release certain sets like D to C's for the Marvel brand that are over $500, like the Hulkbuster or the Black Panther bust, and what went into choosing the topics of those sets themselves. Or you may have a question as to why, why does LEGO destroy molds? Or why does LEGO do this or that? This is a great opportunity to ask your burning questions to LEGO designers, to LEGO graphic artists, to concept artists, all sorts. We now have these contacts open to us, which is so, so exciting, and I cannot wait to see what our partnership with LAN has to bring the channel. And so honestly, that's really all that I have to say. There isn't too much to say at this point. I need to really figure out what the whole early set review process looks like. I need to know how it works to contact LEGO designers to interview them. All of this is something that I probably will be learning over the course of the next few weeks. So be patient with me and bear in mind that I am trying to kind of get on boarded here and figure out what I can do with LAN, but expect to see new content related to all this stuff coming very soon. And I am so, so happy to announce that Duck Bricks is now a a recognized Lego fan media. How exciting is that? And thank you all for being a part of this and it's your viewership that has paved the way to us being official Lego ambassadors. 
Thank you all so, so much. And be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming right very soon. And a very big thank you to LEGO for accepting us. I can't wait to see what we do in the future. Thanks so much and bye for now.